Hello, my name is Thompson Dyke. I play drums in Sets of Suffocation together with. Uh, hello, my name is Simone van Straten and I play guitar in Sisters of Suffocation. Yeah, and you're listening to Fresh Roasted Metal. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Whoa. What's up, guys? We are back. It is time for another episode of Fresh Roast to Metal. What is going on? Uh, t- this week, we've got our guest host in Brian, the Vampire King. What's up, bro? What's happening, guys? Uh, and then we got uh, our boy Philip back. He's back again to help us out doing the codes. Yeah. What's up, Philip? So, all right, guys. So uh, this week uh, is a very cool episode here on Fresh Roast to Metal. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, we, we have Sisters of Suffocation who uh, are with us right here. Let's get them all, everybody get <laughs> in. Right on. Uh, now, we did, when was the first react? Do you remember what the first reaction, it was a, maybe a few weeks ago we did? Yeah, I believe the first reaction we did was phobophobia. Phobophobia, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was back in August. <laughs> yeah, that's the first one we watched. Yes. Oh, phobophobia. Okay, and then we had some people asking us, hey, when are you going to do some more? And so we did some more. And we did a whole uh, mega bowl with a gummy of your band, which is six videos uh, in a row. Mm-hmm. So we reacted to uh, six of your videos in a row. So we kind of feel like we kind of know you guys now, <laughs> sort of. Nice. So from, yeah, from watching I mean, all. From watching I mean, that's, all. that's all the videos, right? Six? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't think there's think much so. more than that. <laughs> so we are brand all of us are brand new to you guys uh so we would just like to just sit here and have a conversation and uh tell us how you guys got here you know up until yeah. this point just your story I, f- I think it's best for simona to tell this because she's a founding member i mean i just joined later okay so yeah simona, that's right that's go. right yeah, simone? St- yeah hello uh we started in i think 2015 14 something it was just uh yeah, Fons and I, we did the same study. We did uh, a study called Metal Factory, and that's a music school uh, for metal. So we, yeah, we graduated. Yeah, we are graduated metal musicians. It's funny. Oh but God. then, uh, yeah. You guys so, have a school for, you guys actually have yeah. metal. <laughs> I'm like, how do I say that? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy, man. Yeah, it's really, yeah, really cool. Like Dude, that would work we have nothing like degree. that here. Nothing that like that. That would work oh. my college degree. I'd be we like, should no, go I, I went to college, but I went to metal school. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I want so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So we were in the same class, a singer and I, else. And uh, she said to me, like, oh, we should really start a band together. And uh, yeah, in the end, we did. <laughs> so we started a band with two other girls. Uh, so we started with four girls only. And um, yeah, later on, Fons joined and Tim joined. Yeah, and what, what's the story? Yeah, just I think it's, st- it, yeah. I, sorry, I think it's also because uh, me and Emily were in the same class. It's like oh, yeah. Simona was like in the first year of the school, just when it started. And I think Emily and me were in like the fourth year or something. So we knew them already. Like, oh, they are this big band that went to the school. And then Emily joined. <laughs> and then I think you, the drummer left. And then through Emily, I joined. Uh, bassist left. And then we got another bassist just by, you know, looking at Facebook, <laughs> looking for <laughs> bassists and just asking them <laughs> to audition. So everything, everyone. Also the, the metal family, right? Like your family yeah. we are. <laughs> yeah. So everyone yeah. in the band came from the same yeah. school, from, except yeah. our bassist. Yes. Wow. Yeah. He goes to fancy college. Yeah. I don't know what. He's, yeah. he's, he's a smart he's guy. Way, he's the only smart, smart guy. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's so, why we let him do the taxes. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, yeah. Simone, <laughs> Simone, what was it about death metal? What was it about death metal that you chose that path? Well, we were talking about what kind of music we wanted to make. And then it was like, yeah, okay, it should be loud and heavy and 
brutal. So yeah, then we, we came to death metal because we, we love that the most of all kind of metal genres. So yeah, that's the reason. So we just started to, to write some music and in the end it, it sounded death metal. So now we have the death metal label. Right on, dude. So uh, you guys have the new album, uh, Eradication, right? Yes. Uh, coming out in yes, November 25. 25th. 25th, yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about that, man. Tell us about the new record. Ooh. Wow. How did we make this? Yeah, it's it's, it's almost what, yeah. What do you call it? It's like a um a COVID What's record that? or something. Like it's yeah, it was done way yeah. earlier and, and everything got delayed and pushed back and yeah, and now it's oh. finally happening. Yeah, because we already finished it like two years ago. So we yeah, yeah, we really music, wrote it in lockdown. Yeah. yeah. yeah but, lockdown um, I think we wrote most of it together, right? Yeah, I mostly it, two um, the two of us. Yeah, I think Most um, parts, yeah. I think when I joined the band like three years ago, we had like a rehearsal and we just tried to write some songs because usually Simone is really great at just writing them at home and just thinking, yeah, just making demos and stuff like that. And and I think we just tried like, oh, maybe we can try to write a song together like in a rehearsal, just, you know, improvising stuff like that. And I think like from the first moment, it just, it just was good. It's like we immediately wrote a song. Mm -hmm. And I think the Buried in the Crowd single is like one of the songs that one we just... One of the first one. Yeah, also, I think like the second mm -hmm. or something. And we just wrote it in an hour and it was like, oh shit, we, we form a really good team. And it's like, then we knew like, oh man, this is, this is so good. And then we got really excited about it. So we yeah. really excited to show the music. But I think the album is really like a product of just... Um, how did you call it? Just being really excited about writing music. And I remember <laughs> that period, like I was just kept thinking about music and we're writing together. And and I hope you can hear that in the album, but I really like it like musically. And then mm -hmm. um, more like the theming of the album with the space stuff and the different stories and stuff like that. It's more like, what is it? More like L's and- Yeah, it's a, and, like a concept album because before yeah. we started writing it, we, we were just talking about like, yeah, what should it, uh, yeah, what is, what's the story of this album? And then we first made a story and then every story was like, okay, this should be like a, a trash metal song. This should yeah, be yeah, a, yeah. a slow song. This should be a, a, a chaotic song. Like the bird yeah. in the crowd was meant like our chaos. And that's, yeah, that's how we did it. We, Got it yeah, yeah, that, that was it. We had a lot of demos and we just filled in the gaps and it was like, oh, we have this part of the story and it should be sad. Okay, let's write a sad song. Yeah. And it just, <laughs> and you know, it just, it just really, really weird. Um, it doesn't feel so, yeah. but when it was really funny. natural. Yeah, yeah. it was really funny. funny. I remember <laughs> like, we had one rehearsal, like when we were thinking of the concept of the album. Um, we did like a, what is it, like a Pinterest mood board kind of presentation oh, yeah. to each other. So everybody had like their own interpretation of what you wanted. And we were like pitching <laughs> ideas to each other. Yeah. And I really remember because uh, we have like a dog in the in the, in oh. the video clip and everybody was like a big dog and stuff. And I was like, why not just do something really different and just have a small dog, like a Dachshund or a Chihuahua or stuff. I mean that that would be cool, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the, with Please the laugh. Blue yeah. Song. yeah, I mean, just imagine the video clip of Buried in a Crowd, but with a Chihuahua instead of. Oh, you know, I love that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. See, see. Yeah, it's oh, funny. Wow. It's funny, but it's it's Dude, weird be because that's not a dog who would survive something like that. <laughs> you, you don't know. I mean, I no, mean, I she know. doesn't survive in the end, but. Right. And that's <laughs> yeah, that's right. Knows, the little person just might survive the whole the whole. Yeah. Time. I mean, I mean, the smaller you are, the less food you need. So maybe just oh, chances yeah. to survival are better. So if it was up to me, um, <laughs> the video clip would be with the Chihuahua. And, yeah. so and bad. next time yeah. you see it, just imagine that. Like if I had full control of everything. That's right. Like a little, a little teacup <laughs> poodle or something like that. Like something teeny tiny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, love it. Yeah. Bear like being dressed crowd. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of like slipping and sliding, ducking and climbing over people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, something different. I mean, end of the world. Oh, just a all, guinea pig like or a something. <laughs> yeah, like... hamster or something. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you're still, you're still on the leash. The hamster would be good. Yeah. The hamster, would be the hamster right? 
<laughs> I vote for the hamster. Yeah. But would you do that like on a leash or something? Because I remember when we had like bunnies, like when I was younger, I had like a leash for them so we can walk them on the street. Oh, oh gosh, wow, cool. That. That's weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I love Hey, if it works. Walking bunnies down <laughs> the street, <laughs> man. I've never seen it either, man. Walking bunnies down I would the love street, to see man. it. I mean, we Just tried walk. it one time. It, it wasn't a success, so I know why it's not common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, bunnies are not made for for walking outside. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, they don't like that. No, no. Ah, you only wrap the floor. Right. Yeah, you I walk with it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you don't so- want to. Yeah, sorry. Oh, so no, Simone. So like buried in the crowd in that, and I would just quote for both of you. And you were saying that was one of the first one, you know, that you uh, kind of worked on. But just I, I love really just sick riffing, and I don't know where you draw from, but some of like in that song was just great, and like in the chorus or the breakdown, just that sound behind the voice, it just that descend. I don't know what it is, but it just sounds. Where do you draw from, and do you front uh, fonts? When you first heard some of her riffs, do you ever sit there and go, dang, that's pretty sick? Of course, of course. Yeah. Like, what, <laughs> think, are think, what, are think, um, past, what are your past influences, Simone? Like for writing? For just coming up with your guitar and like, it's pretty, pretty sick. Well, yeah. it's, thanks, but it's funny because I always just do something then I, I hear something in my head like an idea and then I try to, to, to play it. But it's funny because always when, when the song is finished, or released or something there are other people who say oh this sounds really like a uh, cattle decapitation or like uh decapitated or whatever band and then i'm like oh oh i, I it's not like on purpose or something it's not that i'm like oh now i want to write something like cattle decapitation it's always That's in the right. end it's yeah accidentally sound like that so i don't, I don't know what, what my influence is i think just yeah you hear just a lot like of metal music yeah. yeah and i think <laughs> that's, that's like yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, but really, yeah. That, song, that song too uh for me uh is got a very good punk vibe to it too yeah that's Fonz's influence <laughs> yeah. yeah because yeah, he's, he's, he's by, the, by the length of it you know, it's, it's, yeah also Fonz. yeah the, i mean yeah. i like short songs um because you can the shorter the songs the more different songs you can hear and <laughs> i think that's a good sign of this album it's like it's like zero filler on the album i listened back to it and there's like nothing that i would want to cut from the album so we just did a lot of short <laughs> songs and like, yeah we have like, we like four that. or five but, songs for two minutes yeah and i yeah. remember <laughs> for this one it was like we started like we gotta have a fast chaotic song we were thinking like what what's cool like life what what works on the stage and we're like um maybe thinking like oh maybe something like with a blast beat or something and then simona just webs out so this riff and then it was like oh and then we do this beat after that and then this part and then I like yeah, it's really like both. a work together thing that we both hear like oh now this yeah. is gonna happen and then we uh. and it's like i think like <laughs> oh, maybe this this kind of feel we need and i don't know how to play guitar so i just i, I just say like maybe something like this like dun, 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 like something like that <laughs> and then she just <laughs> does it like a hundred uh. times better <laughs> that's <laughs> what i was gonna ask i was gonna ask do each of you like hear each other's parts sometimes when you're writing like like, like, would you be like, oh, I could hear fonts back there going, da, 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 like, just yeah. yeah, we always like, talk like that. Each other. Yeah, yeah it's, we it's always like that. Try to sing the the thing. So I sing the drums like pa 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 pa, and he's like the. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I especially remember with this, we like the bridge with the triplets with the do do do. That that's part as well. Like, I was thinking like maybe after this drum beat, what's cool? Like something with, I don't know, drums like triplets do 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 do, do. and I. I remember saying like an Amona Math part, and I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my thinking at the moment, like something like that. And then Simona writes the melodies. It's more like that, like some, oh, maybe this part and like this. And a really good trick, what we use a lot is is when you don't know what to do after something, is just play what you have. Oh, yeah. And after again, that point, again. just yeah. ju- uh, no, of just play what comes up it's like right you're just playing it and then just play after that what feels natural and a lot of times we get like a simple drum beat or like a certain tempo or feeling that we want to go to and then we work it out from there that's cool yeah no we did it a lot i think we did it a lot yeah that's true like okay let's play it again and we'll see what's next (laughs) just do something kind of an organicness to it as well yeah Yeah. like yeah (laughs) that's cool yeah that's really you guys are in sync with each other 
Yeah, dude. That's really special, that's, man. That's, that's Brian, really special. Thank you. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's, that's what I was cool. gonna, my next question to you guys, because Brian, thank you, Brian, for that, because you guys seem like you are connected as a as a as yeah, a as a team. Locked man. In. That's yeah. that's cool, because but it's just happened listening <laughs> to you, man. Yeah. That's how it's yeah. That's a that's a cool dynamic to have. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's I'm really so happy so. with it because we never wrote before together. Because I always did it just at home, and then this was the first album with phones, and then we just tried to write something together. More like oh, let's try, we'll see, and then yeah, it because, happened. Yeah, so because now I said, like I like I like to write also yeah. music, and I I don't want to just play music that somebody writes at home. No, so it's like let's just yeah. try it in the rehearsal room, and yeah. and it just happened. I think. Um, the first song we did, like the first time we tried, we wrote, wrote number five, Being yeah. Play, and that was just done. It's like first time we did yeah. it, and then we just had that song, and I think like the rehearsal after that, we wrote this song, so it just happened, and it was like one or two songs uh, yeah. every rehearsal, and we just you know, started making and just kept coming the songs. And then yeah. it was yeah. like, okay, else, what kind of song do you need now? Yeah, more oh, yeah. Like a chaotic ending song. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Oh, let's go. Let's just, go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think if awesome. we would have kept going, we would have hundreds of songs. Oh, yeah. So God, now, awesome. so now we really want to release this album because this is, this went, it's happened so fast. And now we have to wait for so long. So I'm happy that we finally release it now. Yeah, yeah. We're happy it's getting released. Yeah. So it's been yeah. the same for how long? Two and a half years. Yeah, all the COVID stuff in between. Yeah. I think yeah. yeah, I think like in in July of 2020 we recorded most of it. Oh yeah, I remember. So do you and, have any plans to tour then after? Yeah, um, we're busy. I wish. We, yeah, we want to. Uh, what is it? We're still busy with our book, but we've got hopefully a lot of things coming up. I hope yeah. to go to the USA, but. No yeah, yes. of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And also, it's uh, there are a lot of uh, shows from other bands who are rescheduled, rescheduled. So it's really busy. So planning shows now is, yeah, we wanted to do a lot of shows in November, but it's hard because there are a lot of other things planned because of the COVID stuff that is yeah. re, yeah, re planned. I don't know how it is in the USA because I mean, when I talk to people that work at like, um, what is it? Uh, I don't know the name, but you know places where you go to concerts at Vegas. They're saying like bookers, <laughs> like bookers don't have to work at the moment. It's like just stop, you know, stop booking shows. We have enough. We got to still yeah. work through the for the COVID stuff. It's like don't do anything new. Stop. We have like six months of shows <laughs> of backup. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's just all backup yeah. and stuff that should have happened like a year ago, and it's, yeah. it's yeah. crazy. Right. Right. Yeah, well, look, so that's a bad thing for now because now uh, have shows. Yeah, it's more hard to book shows. Oh, it's also, it well. Yeah, is it also in the USA or is it just a thing here? I don't know. No, they're book. People are starting to book here, man. The shows. Yeah, are starting there's, there's to get a lot of shows going on. It's it's yeah. picked back up, and people are booking shows left and right. We've uh, uh, some of the bands that we cover from Japan are here. They're they're uh, Nima Fila and Bandmade from Japan. Mm-hmm. They're they're mm-hmm. over here touring. Yeah, the borders are opening up, man. Yeah. So, so yeah, cool. they're they're thankfully. booking. Thankfully, they're booking <laughs> a lot of shows, you, and that's the one thing we were afraid of before was, are we ever going to get to see yeah. any more shows? You know, oh, yeah. yeah. Because maybe they don't want to book anymore because they are afraid that it's canceled again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think at least from our perspective and the and the club that we that we've gone to a couple times, uh, I, I think it's back to they're they're trying to get it back to normal and get a a tour schedule going and getting yeah. uh, active <coughs> as much as they can. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. It does make sense because of the back, basically backlog. When you think about it, because these bands still want to tour in the place near me here, it's the same thing. They're trying to get fulfilled all those ones that got canceled and some of them have been moved to other venues, et cetera. But I think we yeah. have so much amount of space here that we're able to kind of dilute it more here, yeah. have more people play than it is in a lot of the rest of the world. Because there's so many venues around the U.S. I mean, obviously, but I yeah. think that's probably why. And yeah. the U.S. pretty big. I mean, the Netherlands is so so, <laughs> so tiny. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we, we, we could almost name every venue in the country. It's yeah. not, not that yeah. hard. I live in Los Angeles, and it's like there's more venues probably just in Los Angeles. Yeah. There are all yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least good yeah. venues. There are a lot of venues, but new venues where we could play. I think yeah, it's a pretty. And it's not a really long list. I think. 
Hey guys, who writes who writes the lyrics in the band? Else. The Else? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh since you guys it's been, you know, this has been a two year like in the weight record. Are you guys finding as a death metal band, at least I am, there you guys should have plenty to be writing about for two or three more records to come in a row oh, as far as writing material, right i feel like now with the way things are in certain areas of the world it's like a perfect time for a death metal band oh my god yeah yeah for, I think for, that's ma- a- for material wise yeah i think uh, all of the lyrics lyrics were written like before covid so it's not anything on the album that's weird like maybe for the out. next album we can do yeah. like this angry but, lyrics i mean i mean the <laughs> album and the, and the, <laughs> i mean the two this album and the last album still talk a lot about the world you know getting destroyed and stuff like that so it's kind of about that but i mean death metal is always about well, see, you it's always like, like, you guys have like this, happy this death metal song. yeah yeah, well, no, we have a, a, a very angry song. We have a cannibal uh, song. A cannibal yeah, soulmate song. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love but that. I mean, yeah. You guys are like, you guys are just good, you know, you have a happy uh, personality, which is great. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Happy right. death metal. I like that shit, man. No. Yeah, me too. It doesn't have to be angry all the time. Yeah, right? exactly, can be happy. man. Yeah. Exactly. So before this interview, we were going down and like we looked up just it was funny just seeing how what they classify you as and it says, you know, what are their topics? Hatred, power and envy. Then we went down <laughs> the song titles on your new album. It was like the camel. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, they took all the categories. <laughs> yeah, them all. Hatred, power <laughs> and envy. And then we're talking to you to like, these are such nice people. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all our frustrations in the music. So now we can just live, live in peace and and. Oh, uh, angriness! In- <laughs> I mean, I mean, when you're playing these hard songs for a while, I mean, you just lose all the energy. You have no energy left to be angry. angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, right. I mean, it's like when you do boxing. I mean, it's like and I've it's never been boxing, but I can. Ex- yeah, I can. It's yeah. like you throw out all your anger and stuff like that, and then it's like, oh yeah, oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. no, it's okay. yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. I think a lot of pe- people who listen to metal or go to concerts and stuff, they all have it's this. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's yeah, just, and then they are all happy again. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, just isn't a it funny like how first band? Huh? It's a, it's, go ahead, Brian. It's just years of suffocation. You all your guys' first band. Have you guys came from other bands in this? Oh, I mean, yeah. for me, it's the biggest. But. But they have played in a lot of smaller local stuff like that, but nothing as big as as Sisters. I mean, it's it's cool. Like every period, it's like every year has four periods, and you gotta form bands and write songs there. So I think I've played, if you count all those, in like twenty bands, but but nothing as serious as as did as this. So I've, I think we've both played a lot, but a lot of different people, but not long term, right? Yeah, or just. Uh fill in stuff like just yeah. play with a band to help them out as a, yeah as exactly a, I, I that's what i do a lot in, yeah yeah and I've, uh, yeah, you too i filled yeah. in for three bands like the last three months but it's just yeah. small wow. stuff a show here and there and yeah it's just a lot but not a real serious band no just a few small bands when i was 14 15 16 like that but since sisters this is the first serious Thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, let me yeah. ask you this: Seeing as both of you do fill in work with other bands, do you find that like some of you, uh, some of the ways and styles of playing that you might use in these other bands kind of bleed over into each other? Do you feel like it helps any at all being in multiple groups? Therefore, I guess maybe uh, accessing different styles. Yeah. 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 yeah I think. It does because you're gonna listen to stuff that you maybe don't listen. Like I, I uh, had to play with Burning Witches, and that's heavy metal, and that's not what I usually listen. I I like it, but when I yeah, I it's not the first choice, right? So then you have a lot of new influences, and I still like it because it's really cool to do other stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think oh, yeah, also, I think it is. Yeah. I think also for me, it's like I filled in lately with a band called Two and a Half Girl. It's like a punk band with a female vocalist, and it's just you know like a little more hardcore punk 
stuff and it's just when i'm playing this it's not like you're just doing constant blast beats and fast double bass and i remember saying that to them like oh i'm just you know chilling here just playing the songs i've got all the all the energy and what is it the headroom in the world to <laughs> worry about other things because normally when we're playing it's like oh man i gotta nail this part and I'm just focused <laughs> on, on drumming it's and i fast. <laughs> always get these weird faces and stuff but it's just focused <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's, yes, it's, 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 and it's moments where curl. it's gone <laughs> you know what guys it, it sounds like to me man like you guys have a great uh music community man yeah Sounds like you I guys have a lot of good people in your community that help you. That's cool, man. To yeah, help, we do. To, we to help each other yeah. out for music. That's really, I'm still sitting here trying to get over that you have school that has. <laughs> right. yeah. that, I, I'd go to that. Really cool. I would definitely, I would have definitely done in better in school. I, me too. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Does is it the only one yeah, in the world? It's, Metal yeah. Factory? Yeah. It's, I yeah. think they profile it as it's like it's the, the selling point. One. Yeah. Yeah, they they went international, so you can still yeah, go so you can still go. Yeah. <laughs> they teach in English yeah. now. Oh, man. Now it's English. Yeah. Crazy man. Dude, I might need to do we should have done that a long time. <laughs> no, ago, we can man. still do you know that, I mean? man. It's a, if you it's just a... all go, then it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. That would be a yes. <laughs> so, all right, we talked earlier about playing gigs, man. Are are there any uh, festivals that you guys are looking at that could be possible for you guys to play? I think just every metal festival in Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I've never been to the USA, so I'm. I, I can't really say what's over there. I really want to go there, but I have think. You guys go everywhere. The, have you yeah. been to the big one? Have you been to the Wagen? Yeah, I no, I really want to play there. Been. I've no. never been. I I usually go to Grasshopper. It's a dream. It's in Belgium. Ooh, it's, you guys, you guys have been to quite a few festivals, ain't you? Yeah, but, I yeah. Think so. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if you never favorite. played there, no, never never played it's called well. no. no. But I really want to. <laughs> yeah, I've, it's never a dream. I've never even went to work in. I don't know. It's, it's pretty far, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know it's, it is. it's Germany. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah man. But I mean, Germany can Germany. still be it. Nah, hmm? I was gonna pl- complain about a ten-hour drive, but I think it's nothing. I think you for can. You. No, <laughs> <In America. laughs> nothing to complain about. <laughs> I mean, we, we played into the Grave Festival, and it's like oh, in it's the north of, of Netherlands, <laughs> and it was like a two and a half, three-hour drive, and it was like, oh man, it's so, so far. far away. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> no, but Germany was six-hour drive, right? The Germany Festival. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah hey awesome. guys, yeah. since I since we were talking about the festivals, this is why I bring this up too. So. Here's our thing with with our channel and our show, we yeah. we have decided that we're going to at one day we're going to manifest a festival for us called the the barbecue festival, the SGBC barbecue, barbecue. festival. All right, for for metal bands, right? Yeah. So when the when we have this day set up and when the day comes, would you guys play our yes. barbecue of festival? <laughs> 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 of course that's, that's oh my and, God, and, and yes. the food and the food for you is free i mean food is always free <laughs> <laughs> it's a barbecue festival so yeah <laughs> oh my god this is so awesome i'm so sorry right I mean, of course yeah. i mean we, we really want to go to the usa yeah. so <laughs> Oh, dude, we really? would love to oh have you god. we would yeah. love to have you over here dude. we have dude there's a lot of clubs that we do have that you guys could play like oh, that, that could that you sure. guys could definitely play it's just being able to get you guys on a you know get you on a tour like a circuit you know like a little <laughs> yeah tour. we really instead, want that instead yeah. of bringing you for like one show you know yeah and then, yeah know. we should do more yeah yeah oh gosh yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely so yeah um it, i i like I, it's very it was very cool meeting you guys and and uh i wanted to say um you know we're we always like to make relationships with bands. Now, this is one of the things we do. Uh, we don't like to, we don't like to just do interviews and then not keep in touch with people, man. So if you guys need help, uh, promoting with anything, if you need our help, Mm -hmm. uh, we're here to help you guys and, and just let us know, man. Uh, and again, I I thank you guys for doing this on such uh, short notice uh you know sometimes yeah, thanks for having us <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep it up. Yeah. You guys we have a good future really yeah man like, keep yeah. it up thanks and, yeah <laughs> brian would you like to uh ask them anything before we before we take off here no you asked all my questions bro <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> philip nice. philip 
How about you, my man? Um, besides the urgent phone call from the president. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, just like I said, uh, keep it up. And honestly, if you guys do come out here, I'm sure you've heard of the NAM Music Fest where all the yeah. stuff come, you know, the and you guys would love that. It's here and like sometime if you ever get here, go to the where it has all the guitars in the world, the drummers yeah, and all the musicians it. are there nice. with all their stuff. You guys would be in heaven. So oh, yeah. nice. I know, I know what it is. I want to go to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll try and get you here. Our family's about that. We're really like finding you guys is just a really cool thing for our channel because yeah. we love these bands who just you you know to help support and get going. And you guys were an awesome converse, awesome conversation. So, <laughs> nice. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, it was nice talking to you guys yeah. too. Oh, yeah. thank you thank Praise. you so much we I mean, really I, appreciate it again and is there anything that you guys would like to say to your fans um yeah next week friday new single pay my dues <laughs> <All right. laughs> hey, hey. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it gonna be a video wait 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 um chihuahuas no. chihuahuas it's not gonna be it's gonna chihuahuas, yeah. <laughs> and it will be a video but it, it won't be done by then so it will okay. be a later so later. next week with, leather. yeah next week this single all right okay well, guys, the album look, comes out when november 25th oh 25th. yeah and where okay. can everybody where can everybody check you out at uh facebook um, spotify yeah instagram. we're mostly on facebook instagram we i think we you recently made a tiktok page but i don't really oh. like it. that's, that's more, that's more hey, now, hey that could take you to the next level exactly. you know? oh yeah if you do that yeah you know, emily, emily is our social media person so yeah. she yeah, we can she make videos say. of our pets yeah <laughs> chihuahuas and hamsters and stuff yeah, like an, al an ultimate hamsters. version of the video clip yeah yeah, now you yeah. can finally do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when we have a lot of money, we can make an alternate version, like yeah, how I right. envisioned it. That's yeah. right. That's right. Guys, <laughs> hey, from, from me, man, thank you again. Thank you so much because, uh, like I said, your music is we, – we, we feel music. We don't just listen to music. We actually mm -hmm. feel it. So – Thank you for making such great music yes. that actually moves us, man. We appreciate that. Exactly. Thank you for taking the time. Thanks for the compliments. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you, man. We appreciate everything you do, man. So to, yeah, to you're, thank you. Uh, yeah, the album is great, man. It's uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Yeah. Nice. Agreed. Agreed. All right, guys. Hey, and stick around, guys, after yes. we after we log off here. Um, and then we'll talk to you again here for a second. Um, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. That's the end of Fresh Roasted Metal, man. We hope you enjoyed this. Uh, with Sisters of <laughs> Suffocation. This was a great time, man. Great. And uh, we will see you all again next week. Thank you so yeah. much. See and you soon. Thank you, Vampire King. Thank you, Thank Philly. you, Brian and Philly. Thank you, guys. We will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Deuce.